Welcome everyone to my first look at Star Conflict. Something I discovered a couple days ago. It's built as a uh, arcade style or action flight sim space combat. Currently in beta, it's been about a year. Free to play with a cash shop. Cash shop gets you pretty much non gameplay affecting things, mostly for looks. You can save some time, speed progression, and so on, but that's pretty much it. This is one of main uh, four main PvP gameplay modes. Combat reconnaissance. Two teams of ten. There's a captain on each team. As long as your captain is alive, you can continually respawn. I've noticed a guy on the map approaching here, a red uh, red target. Now you see he's disappeared from the map, which means he's stealthed. I will pick him up before he gets to the captain, however, if I recall correctly. There he is. Now my brief experience with the game so far I've noticed that uh, on this particular gameplay type, Captain's intelligence level pretty much determines your success. And of course, whether someone stays with him or not to defend. In this case, the Captain's fairly smart and hanging back, in fact, quite far back, further back than some players I've seen way off to the right of the map, and I'm staying with him to ensure that uh, he or she is uh, not alone. Now there are three classes, three main ship classes in the game. There's an interceptor, a fighter, and a frigate. I'm in a frigate right now, which is somewhat of an engineer or a support class. I have the ability to uh, regenerate shields of ships in a particular radius of me. Now the enemy captain has been killed, which means they can no longer respawn. So those red targets you see on the map there are all we have to deal with. Given that fact, the captain is moving forward to engage and get some kills. It's very difficult to win once your captain has been killed, at least in my brief experience so far. Although in the next match coming up you'll see that particular scenario actually happen. The game as you can see is quite good looking. And the uh, pace of combat is pretty good as well. Of course, you don't get a good feel for that given that I'm playing a support role in this case, but... And you get points, of course, uh, for killing and for doing various other things, even support type objectives, buffing shields and so on.
Now, at the end of each match, you get to select loot. You get three tries. Although, some cases, uh, in my experience so far, that you don't get anything out of one of those tries. Experience gained goes towards uh, lifting your rank. Okay, so a new match of the same gameplay and type. Again, I am going to play a support role. It's a good thing I've noticed so far that uh, during this part of the pregame, you can look at what other ships your teammates are bringing. And if you see there's a lack of any particular type, you can fill that. I'm a little worried in this match because our captain Heads up, we've got company. I uh, executed the buff, the shield buff there. You can see I get points for that as well. So the match is pretty even at this point. 6-6. Six, six. It's important to note that, there we go, you can see the buff effect. It's important to note that uh, not only is the map useful for tracking targets, but keep an eye on the weapons fire. Both outgoing and incoming, it can kill you the location of hostiles, it's very, very useful. So we're down in points, but we have killed the enemy commander, which means no more response on their side. Now, I saw that guy on the map, but I can't locate him. I did pick him up finally and help get the kill, but not before he killed our captain. Not sure if that was a some kind of weapon system, but you notice I went dark there for a bit. You notice weapons do overheat. I think I have a good lock on him, but I can't fire. Once you die, it shows you the perspective of the person who killed you. And in this game mode, since the captain is dead, you are locked in a spectator mode.
And we have to make up these points with the ships we have out there. So, as mentioned, we did take out their captain first, but ultimately we did not uh, take this match. Now, no loot, of course, if you don't win. Okay, so this match is the one where our captain moves forward aggressively and I was a bit worried from the from the get go. Come on, you sons of bitches. Do you want to live forever? Enemy sighted. Now he does take some heat early, so he, I believe, adjusts his uh, attitude. Die, now, you'll notice that I have these drones circling around me. These uh, will attack um, nearby targets, as you can see they're doing right now. And that seemed to help uh, get a lot of assists for me in this round. Nice thing about these uh, battle areas is they do have various things you can fly around, evade behind, and so on. Although something I had a, diff a bit of an issue with is uh, noticing when a particular target is in front or behind some of these uh, features. I guess that's uh, something you'll you'll learn to distinguish more easily with experience. being my second day, in some cases I end up firing at something which in fact is uh, blocked. You do take a small amount of damage when you hit uh, other things. Includes ships. Now that was another frigate in front of me there and you could see how slow it was. You uh, get behind one of those and generally they're in trouble. Looking at the score, we've definitely got things well in hand here. See, I was misled by the captain shooting at that target, and uh, I shot as well, but he was on the other side of this uh, structure. Enemy ship destroyed. 
There are different qualities of loot that you can get by uh, selecting these uh, loot drops. There you see a green one, which is uh, better quality. Uh, I have uh, gained enough experience to go up a rank, or a reputation rather. Fourteen assists, which is um, quite good in my limited experience. That is. Also, see you get various medals for different uh, achievements in game. These can be viewed through the profile interface from the hangar. So the game is free to play. You'll see that you are award, awarded credits which are uh, needed to do things like repair and uh, rearm your, your ship. You purchase new ships and equipment with those as well. So I've gone up to rank 4. And as you can see it opens up quite a wealth of uh, new toys. Different ships, weapons, active modules, passive modules. There are also implants, uh, which you can um, select. You can have one per rank. And they do things like um, increase your, your shield strength, your speed, and whatnot. All in all, it looks good. I'm looking forward to exploring this game a bit more going forward.